Hallelujah. The Bible says, What things soever ye desire, it says, When ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it. Meaning, you can never have what you have not received, you only have what you have received. It says, What things soever. Now, in one minute, I, I like you to lift up your voice. That issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the Lord in your life. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to lift up your voice before I bring prayer points. Lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith, knowing that there is a God who can answer. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Some of you are trusting God to reveal himself as a God of increase. Some of you are trusting God for speed, trusting God for restoration. Don't be silent. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of destiny. The maker of businesses. The maker of ministries. There are walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations. First Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest, but it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon. But the Bible says Satan hindered us. Are you ready to pray? You're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the God of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of Christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus I come against every hindrance every mountain who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain career mountains spiritual mountains financial mountains mountains stopping your influence and your visibility lift your voice and begin to pray Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says, once upon a time, we read 13, 14, and 15. The Bible says, the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. 
they needed the manifestation of the God of wonders and Moses said unto the people fear not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show you when today you can choose another day but I make up my mind today it says for the Egyptians Kabarus Kiyabata this is a word for someone the Egyptians the disappointment I know it happened in 2013 14 15 don't get used to pain don't get used to disappointment God is about to show up he said the Egyptians whom you have seen today you shall see them again no more forever verse 14 the Lord the God of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar hallelujah the Lord said unto Moses wherefore criest thou unto me he says speak to the children of Israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of Jesus I refuse to remain here God of wonders arise push me forward I need advancement in my life if someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray hallelujah in the name of Jesus we are still praying first Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray hallelujah praise the lord you're not wasting your time psalm 45 verse 12 something is happening to someone psalm 45 verse 12 i receive it for myself psalm 45 and verse 12 and the daughter of tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah hallelujah please look up one of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so God made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed this these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time eventually you will find expression we are going to pray these two things it says and i will restore years the first restoration you need is not things i will restore years number two the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed 
my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry 10 years in one year 10 years in one year speed in business when the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities i assure you in the name of jesus restoration by the god of wonders restoration in the name of jesus and the fortunes of job were restored to him the fortunes of job were restored to him declare speed over your life lord give me speed give me speed give me speed hallelujah praise the name of the lord two more prayers ah calibranda gato theater esther chapter six esther chapter six something is about to happen to someone esther chapter six from verse one please give it to us on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that mordecai that joshua selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget what god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door they sought to slay the king verse 3 the king said what honor and dignity had been done to mordecai for this listen to me there are times in our lives where we give our best some of us have served people for years some of us raised many children they are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when god is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus father i declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open 
Please pray. Let the book of remembrance be open. Listen to me. God is almighty. But the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men. Listen carefully. God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men. We are going to pray and provoke by the God of wonders, the ministry of destiny help us. Listen to me. There's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life, believe me you will never rise not in this life i assure you i wish i had time i would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if naaman the bible says naaman in second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he said he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous and yet in his house there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free the key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable you must trust god for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people gifted people gifted people from the protocol to your worship team and everyone give this a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth i mean like ruth was to naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than i'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about 
speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, cre their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonders should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny help us lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger we are going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within these minutes to visit you can i tell you this sincerely i admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight i'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir i'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what i'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what i'm saying this is a prophetic word i stand by the spirit of grace and i'm telling you that a new season a new season the bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace i'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace I'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body you see I hope you don't mistake in what I'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of God's grace sir would you be embarrassed if I talk to you I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what I'm seeing. A door. What do you have to do with music? I'm seeing a door. This was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years. And the Lord is saying here, I'm opening it again. This is what I'm seeing. 
You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Celebrate the God of wonders. Mighty things are about to happen there. Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus, I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Where is home? He's at home in Abuja. In Abuja here. Yes. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you both of you god is about i'm seeing this man cry there has been helper please there has been constraints but god himself is giving you a visitation even by the spirit of god listen i prophesy to you i don't care what it is that has held you down i stand by the god of heaven here in the name of jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level i clear it out of the way in the name of jesus i clear it out of the way i'm hearing a name martha martha please help me guys volume martha who is martha i'm hearing a name martha we have to be very very fast martha this is a name that the lord is giving me i want to pray for that person right now that every plague of darkness every plague of darkness are we together so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if he's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your heart be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor 
favor by the supernatural hand of God. Bring them out. We are praying. Now, I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer. Please, this is the prayer that I will, I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper. Because I'm about to release the grace for speed. Oh yes, sir. There is a real grace for speed. And when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring those people out. There are men and women. There are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed. God of wonders, I pray that at the count of three, may that mantle and that grace come upon people. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Speed. Please help them. Help them. Speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Help this man, please. Hallelujah. That every planting that is not of the Lord over the life and the family of anyone, it must give way now. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitor tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers because right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing 
blessing who is blessing i'm hearing the name blessing you are wearing black with a black face mask all black all black is there someone like that blessing it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people i'm seeing some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this person my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up our wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season the borders are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders share the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god hear me every door that has refused to open in 
the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you Mateus Pani Parahasia and it has refused to open I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be open hidden Tita Ephata be open hidden Tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of Jesus I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says and I will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one I stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of Jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of the death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be 
a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ I pray for those who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I use this wonderful man of God who ministered what an amazing vessel you are in the name that is above all names I declare I use him as a point of where's the gentleman he's not here in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you my dear one you will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus and I use him as a point of contact anyone here who is in the music ministry genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of jesus we tear the veil and we announce you i release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time time but it looks like you have not gotten your own place i want to shift you by prophecy standing in partnership with the man of god you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it rehoboat he said god has given me my own space i prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space i give you your own portion in this city in this land in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with god i know that but i want you to agree with god and say lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year i tell you if you if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart you will be surprised what my god will do lift up your voice and pray lord i agree with you Shabata. open strange doors open strange doors open strange doors Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take it. Having a child already in a womb. I 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout it self time in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God to stop results from happening in my life I challenge you I challenge you I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, Are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war and warfare until I become victorious. Lift your voice and pray. I release their ministry. Release my helpers to come into my destiny. Release favor. I release angels. Over Koinonia. The angels assigned over Koinonia. We release you by the word of God. The angels assigned over God's people. We release you. We release you. We release you. We release you. In the name of Jesus. Bring miracles. Bring signs. Bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket the ten thousand finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left God because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge 
the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia i declare in the name of jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear i refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you I must receive that testimony lift your voice and pray I wrestle with prophecy I agree I agree you said you will heal my father I still believe you said you will heal my mother I still believe you said you will prosper my business prosper my ministry I still believe Please lift your hands, I want to pray for you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you have prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from Je I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. But you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction. The unction that teaches men things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light. That illumination. Shine upon your any man on earth who is holding your answer any physical man holding your answer I put pressure upon their spirit they must answer you they must answer your parents they must answer your loved ones I pray for you every miracle 
we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact i pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night i don't care how short the time is i decree and i ask the lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life may he reproduce that testimony in your life anyone here hold on please who is sick in any part of your body any nonsense the devil has planted whether you call it fibroid whether you call it menstrual pain whether you say barrenness impotency whether you call it migraine ss as bad dreams witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god i tell you i see fire falling on people that's what i see in the spirit fire people are getting healed may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now may the fire of the holy ghost i say it again standing upon this grace may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life anyone here called ss as i command that genotype change now any stranger you were not born with if you were not born with it breast lump fibroid ovarian cyst any devil sitting on your body your body must glorify god tonight therefore i curse that devil i curse that spirit i curse that devil i curse that spirit everything that has stopped you from being productive i prophesy to your hands your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family it comes to end this night in the name of jesus i pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, Every wall that stands before you and the next dimension i decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of israel standing before jericho i command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of jesus And the king sent 
it for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus there are angels that herald the influence of a man listen honor is a grace when that grace is not upon you no matter how noble you are you will never be honored honor is a grace and when that grace is on you only God can take it away it says and Jabez was more honorable than his not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an ocean from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now you will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life when the grace for honor and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you the Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness I stand by the God of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust God it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the downhill overnight and turns his life around I'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. <laughs> Oh, 
prepare blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace Hear me, whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me, any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you Anyone here who the testimony over your life is ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. First a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory you say speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. 
in the name of Jesus anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to sit with that you will not finish this year well to sit with that it will not be well with you and your family the hands he came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be open in the name of Jesus delay be gone delay be gone delay delay in marriage delay in jobs I cause it to his root I release you in the name of Jesus every academic bondage every academic bondage kateka leko sopa repete natu sabadi adaka in the name of Jesus be free be free be free mental blockage be free from it academic bondage I set you free this is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning I prophesy it by the power of the highest I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration seven-fold restoration seven-fold seven-fold not one-fold not two-fold I speak it where you have been victimized any student here who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever I change it in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every room called Barry I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands on every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows the anointing that brings you above I call you in the realm of the spirit rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus
Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, let a cloak of favor hit you where you are. Favor! 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 Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. SS, AS, we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight. It is time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace we take your miracle take your miracle Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today. In the name that is above all names. I command it to multiply. This is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand Break 
Rato Sata, I command every uncompleted family project, every uncompleted family project. The Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit, and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the help out of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind, in my body, around my life, hear the word of the Lord. I cast you out of my life now. Lift your voice and pray. Around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. 
Mato Mata Kota Samarata Sablas Katavarek and Bosayala Mata ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of jesus christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger it's a spirit it's leaving people right now uncontrolled anger is it's an unusual anger rage it comes you can see anything and you can do anything i'm seeing fire in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of this operation right now in the name of jesus i bring you deliverance i bring you deliverance by the power of the holy ghost uncontrolled anger i come against it now Please help her. I'm seeing a vision, and the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream that's what I'm seeing now and in that dream you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished it's a strong spirit of delay I stand by this apostolic and prophetic place help your wife right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the Lord let God's people go now one two three I command that spirit go now go now please help them go now this 
one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit, go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking you to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Shakatos, Emplan, Paskana, Sone, Ashamariakata, Shakatos, in the name that is above all it, I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones, they once worked, they once married, they once had children, they once had a house. You are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past. It's always once upon a time this was happening. I need to crush that devil from your life. Please help them. Once upon a time I was rich. Once upon a time I was married. Once upon a time I was on fire for God. Once upon a time I was a pastor. I had a church. No. The path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow, right now at the count of three, I declare that spirit must let you go. One, two, three, let them go now. Let them go now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. 
circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood-related disease, or whether it is every month malaria, every month malaria, every month typhoid, you treat it, it still comes back. Every month headache, every month whatever it is. Hold on, please. The Lord is showing me something. I just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear. And the Lord said there are people, money physically disappears, like lives their life. I'm not saying you waste it. You can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house. It's not just money, items. You can wash clothes and hang it. You, you didn't steal it. You will come back, you will not find it. Listen, well, this is a, a deliverance series. Just allow me to help that lady. I'm seeing a lady in a vision now. You were alone. You washed your underwear in the night. By the next day, you didn't find two of them again. It's gone. From that day, something happened in your life in a strange way. Severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having. Uncontrollable pain. Uncontrollable in the name of Jesus, everything the devil has taken from anyone, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. Let there be restoration now. The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, all oh, death, where is thy sting? All oh, grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. 